Hi everyone, my name is Rukshan and I am a second year PhD student in computer science at Tufts University. Our work explores the gendered impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on healthcare workers in Pakistan. This research was a joint effort with Aisha Naeem, Priya Fatma Sajjad and Dr. Zartash Afzal Uzmi. Bulk of this work was completed while Aisha and I were undergraduate students at LAMS in Pakistan. Despite women constituting 70% of the global healthcare workforce, they face a significant gender wage gap, earning 28% less than their male colleagues. This disparity is rooted in social and systematic issues, including the traditional perception of women as caregivers, organizational inflexibility towards women's needs, and their reliance on partners for career support. The COVID-19 pandemic exerted a considerable impact on healthcare workers globally, affecting both male and female professionals. Nevertheless, in Pakistan, where the healthcare system was already fragile, the implications of the pandemic could be even more pronounced. In this research, we delve into the pandemic's implications on healthcare workers in a patriarchal context, using Pakistan as an example. Our aim is to shed light on the disparities faced by female healthcare workers and propose technological initiatives to address these inequalities in the healthcare workforce. Now, Turning our focus to the Pakistani context, it is important to note that Pakistan ranks low on the Global Gender Parity Index, indicating significant gender disparities in the region. The COVID-19 pandemic exacerbated existing challenges, resulting in a surge of domestic violence against women and an unequal burden of domestic responsibilities placed on them. In Pakistan, women face limited autonomy in various spheres of life, such as their choice of partner, the number of children they want to have, and their ability to work or study. These socially constructed gender norms create barriers for women, hindering their opportunities for personal and professional growth. Gender inequities also persist in the healthcare workforce, where women played a central role during the pandemic, working as doctors, nurses, and lady health workers. These pandemic, the, the pandemic emphasized the importance of addressing these disparities and supporting the well-being of female healthcare workers who faced additional challenges due to gender norms. Our study utilized a mixed methods approach, combining quantitative and qualitative data collection. We gathered survey responses and conducted sem semi-structured interviews in two private and three public hospitals using convenience sampling. This method was chosen due to the ongoing fourth wave of the pandemic and the presence of lockdown policies. In the survey, nearly 32% were male and 67% were female. For the interviews, nearly 42% of participants were male and 58% were female. The results from both data sources were analyzed independently and then interpreted together to provide well-validated findings and their explanations. Now coming towards the finding of our study, it was revealed that there were significant gender disparities in household responsibilities among healthcare workers during the pandemic. Female doctors encountered greater challenges in managing household duties, with approximately 54% of them reporting an increased burden of household work compared to 44% of their male counterparts. The impact of the pandemic on the burden of household responsibilities was found to be statistically significant and dependent on gender. It is depicted in figure one. Moreover, female healthcare workers described an inherent inclination towards caregiving, which led them to take on more household responsibilities than their male colleagues. Balancing housework and their profession proved to be exceptionally challenging for them. Infected mothers, in particular, expressed concerns about their children's health and encountered difficulties in finding appropriate care for them. Upon further analysis, it became evident that married female doctors experienced a disproportionate burden of domestic work compared to unmarried female doctors, as depicted in Figure 2. However, no significant differences were observed in the changes in household responsibilities among single participants. These findings underscored the importance of addressing gender disparities in household responsibilities, especially during times of crisis like the pandemic. Survey respondents were also asked to rate their household work burden on a scale of 0 to 5 for various categories before and during the pandemic. The difference in scores between these periods was calculated to determine changes in household work. The analysis, which is visualized in Figure 3, revealed that the burden of household tasks increased for both male and female ACWs, but it was significantly higher for female ACWs. Moreover, consistently high scores were found for female healthcare workers across all categories, indicating a disproportionate burden of household responsibilities for them. Now, Aisha Naim, my colleague from Boston University, will present the rest of the work. 
Let's now examine how COVID-19 impacted healthcare workers in their workplace, specifically in the hospital. Policy changes such as establishing COVID-19 designated wards resulted in longer working hours and significant shifts in workload. Approximately 30% of all doctors and nurses reported an increase in duty time of more than two hours, while more than 50% reported an increase of at least one hour. Interestingly, there was a decrease in workload in some departments, such as the outpatient department, that were either closed down or capped during the pandemic. It is important to note changes in workload did not vary on the basis of gender. Furthermore, our findings show that the attitude of patients' attendance towards the healthcare staff worsened during the pandemic. 26.6% of female healthcare workers reported witnessing extremely negative or negative behavior from the patients during and attendance before the pandemic. However, this percentage increased to 50.9% when asked about incidents that happened during the pandemic. While male doctors also experienced deteriorating attitudes during the pandemic, they still fared better than females. Our qualitative findings explain and align well with these statistics. Further, doctors were asked about their feelings of safety during night shifts scheduled before the pandemic. Approximately 39% of females and 21% of males reported feeling unsafe to some degree. However, these numbers increased when asked about night shifts scheduled during the pandemic. With around 51% of females and 39% of male doctors reporting feeling unsafe to some degree. This is also indicated in figures 4A and 4B. Figure 5 illustrates the comparison of work burden on healthcare workers before and during the pandemic weighted on a scale of 1, which corresponds to extremely burdensome, to 5, which corresponds to not burdensome at all. Responses about the pre-pandemic period clustered closer to 3, 4, and 5, indicating a lighter burden. However, responses about work burden during the pandemic were inclined towards 1, 2, and 3, signifying a significant decrease in work burden for participants. These results were statistically significant, highlighting a major shift in workload after the pandemic. Our findings also show that doctors and nurses faced severe psychological stress during the pandemic. This was primarily attributed to working long hours and constant anxiety about contracting and transmitting the virus, particularly to their family members. The high likelihood of high healthcare workers being carriers of virus contributed significantly to their stress levels. Interviews further revealed that female healthcare workers in particular faced discomfort and inconvenience while using their personal protection equipment, which hindered their ability to work comfortably. One participant specifically highlighted the difficulty of tying hair in a bun and wearing a PPE kit on top of a headscarf stating this was exceedingly challenging. Moreover, healthcare workers in Pakistan held protests due to the scarcity of PPE kits and masks in hospitals. More than half of the participants in the study reported using personal funds to purchase protective equipment as illustrated in Figure 6. The closure of public transportation forced healthcare workers to opt for more expensive modes of travel, resulting in increased cost transportation cost uh, for a significant portion of them. This is illustrated in Figure 7. In light of our findings, we now propose specific policy guidelines and technology interventions based on key challenge areas domains uncovered by our work. These interventions are intended to be taken by government organizations and researchers who are exploring ways to create more inclusive workspaces. Parenting during the era of online learning presents unique challenges. Two primary concerns were raised by participants. First, parents had to provide extra support to children struggling with online classes and second, overlapping hours of professional duties and online classes made it difficult to supervise effectively. To address the first concern, teaching methods can be revamped such as incorporating in-class group-based activities and gamification of teaching content. These approaches can enhance student participation, motivation, and concentration. For the second concern, we propose algorithmic shift planning systems in hospitals to generate custom schedules for healthcare workers. This system allows healthcare workers to accommodate each other's needs when scheduling conflict arise. Additionally, our study revealed an uneven distribution of domestic workload where 
with female healthcare workers shouldering a significantly higher burden. To address this, we propose that mobile applications that can track household tasks performed and promote transparency can help achieve a fairer distribution of responsibilities. Female healthcare workers also face threats from patient attendees. To increase security measures, mobile-based emergency button for immediate assistance can be implemented along with CCTV surveillance with algorithmic decision support systems for human screening. Furthermore, misinformation about COVID-19 led to gender-based misconceptions about doctors, particularly female healthcare workers. Utilizing cell phones for public service messages can combat gender-based misconceptions and build public trust. Lastly, the pandemic caused a scarcity of hospital resources. Expanding telemedicine services, which have shown effectiveness in improving healthcare access and delivery, can offer a viable alternative during resource constrained times. In conclusion, our study provided insights into the lives of healthcare workers during the COVID-19 pandemic in Pakistan, with a particular focus on gender-related aspects. Both male and female healthcare workers encountered challenges such as PPE shortages, extended hospital shifts, and increased psychological burden. However, female healthcare workers faced additional hurdles, including shouldering a disproportionate share of household responsibilities and feeling unsafe in violent situations. Our findings underscore the urgency of implementing policy and technology-based solutions that consider female healthcare workers' perspectives and address existing gender disparities. By acknowledging and addressing these issues, we can create a more equitable and supportive environment for all healthcare workers. This concludes our presentation and thank you.